How are you guys feeling? <laughs> Overwhelmed yes. and excited. <laughs> really. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's, um, I feel like words can't describe right now. Yeah. It's unreal. Yeah. Yeah. And they get to see it. Watching you, you, you kept, like, almost like you didn't believe it. Like, you kept having this reaction about every three minutes. Like, wait, really? This really happened? <laughs> Still don't. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a dream right now. It's surreal. Mm -hmm. yeah. What made you guys apply for the ambassador process to begin with? You're okay. You know, it was one of those things where it just kind of a uh, cast member suggested to me that I apply, and <laughs> like, something inside was like, yeah, yes, I should go for this. It just felt right from the very start, and I, even though I might not have ever put myself in that beginning of it without having been, you know, kind of into my friend, um, once I started the process, I was like, this, this feels just great. I agree completely to echo what Sachi said. Um, it just felt right. When I learned about the position, it was my Disneyland aha moment. And uh, it was the perfect partnering of what I've done in my past and my passion for Disney and wanting to continue my career. So it just, like she said, it felt right. What kind of um, events did you guys participate in during the selection process? I know you talked about going to chalk. What other types of things did you do? Um, we were also able, fortunately, to make dinner for the family staying at the Ronald McDonald House right across the chalk, so that was an amazing experience as well. And there was the Haunted Mansion by the Nation Police Party that happened in downtown Disney. So we got to be a part of that. We also were treated to a very nice dinner, and then we also got to shadow uh, Renee and Julie at their radio interviews for a whole week's time, so it was great to see them in action and get to learn some of their tricks. So what's next? <laughs> the world only knows. <laughs> a whirlwind day, and then, uh, and then it all starts to I guess. When you were shadowing Renee and Jolie, did they give you any tips? If you know, if you get selected, here's the number one thing you need to know about being an ambassador. I think we were just going moment by moment, trying to get to be selected first. So we didn't really ask this question. I didn't. Yeah. Um, I, I, a little bit. Uh, Renee and Julie both said it's just remember you're a servant to the cast and the guests and the community. So just remember to always bring a sense of humility to it, which is really important. Yeah. Was there any part of the process that you didn't feel challenging with the application? I think the interviews yes. with artists heard by itself. Yes. Megan, you, um, I understand you're from the entertainment department, mm -hmm. so can you talk a little bit just about your your history with Disney so far? I've uh, been with entertainment for three years, so um, it was great so just to get to perform in the park, which is, which is amazing. So that was a dream, like I said, at the ceremony, uh, and such is from entertainment as well, so it's kind of nice.